Guys, thank you very much for tonight. It's a pleasure. As you can imagine, for me being here in Lisbon, my home, and to try and fight for this competition with you guys. So, if I could wish for a birthday present, of course, you know it would be the, the Champions League. So, let's go for it, and hopefully, in a few in a few weeks, we can celebrate together. Thank you very much. See, this is what happens. This is what happens when you put the reputation of the Premier League in the hands of Manchester City. I said it. Manchester City, they're just not good enough. They, I feel like they're not going to win another Champions League in our lifetime. And now look, we put the reputation of the Premier League in their hands. They've got the furthest in the Champions League. And now look, they disgrace us against, against Lyon. Lyon of all teams. This is just one of the many reasons why I think Manchester City are frauds. You can't buy a Champions League. PSG are trying to do it, have been trying to do it for ages, and I still don't think they're going to do it this year. Like I said in the previous video with Aaron, I think this year the Champions League goes to Bayern Munich. And now every English team that enters the Champions League this year is out. And what teams remain? Four teams from two leagues that every English fan, or the majority of English fans at least, have called Farmers Leagues. You see, this is what we do that I hate, yeah? We big up our league just because we've got three or four teams fighting for the Premier League. This year it was even two. And we go and talk and talk and talk and say, oh, our league is the best and your league's the farmer's leagues. And now look, no teams in the semi-finals. Bro, it's a disgrace. Every single person that said the French league and the German league are farmer's leagues, hang your heads in shame. Because now look, you've disgraced us all. You might as well call the Premier League the farmer's league because <laughs> you don't see no English teams in the semi-final. You see, this is what happens when you don't have actual English representation, actual Champions League pedigree in the Champions League. Man City are the favourites to win. Why are Man City the favourites to win the Champions League? Someone tell me, have they won the Champions League before? Are they the best team in Europe? Clearly not. Bayern Munich are by far the best team in Europe. So why were Man City ever the favourites? If it wasn't for the mistakes in that Real Madrid game, that game would have been a lot tighter. And okay, cool, Manchester City might have still got through. But I don't know where all this favourites talk was coming from when Bayern Munich was slapping teams left, right and centre. How many times do I have to say you can't buy a Champions League? Yeah, you can have Pep as your manager. You can have Kevin De Bruyne in midfield. You can have Raheem Sterling and all these wonderful players. But... The Champions League has no bias towards the teams that have spent the most money. It comes down to, yeah, one, talent, but also hard work. And sometimes you need a bit of luck. And that's what Leon had yesterday. Everyone wrote them off, but they were like, nah, we're involved. We deserve to be in the semi-finals. We deserve to be not overlooked. Because everyone was looking past Leon and looking to Bayern Munich versus Man City, which was the wrong thing to do clearly in the Champions League because the Champions League throws up upsets and... To be honest, I think Man City were looking past Leon as well when they really shouldn't have done and I think that's what's cost them. I wonder whether it was just the English media because I'm sure other countries around Europe weren't big enough Man City as the favourites. I'm pretty sure everyone would have been looking towards Bayern even before the Barcelona game and saying, yeah, they're the favourites to win the Champions League. I don't see how a team that hasn't got past the quarterfinals in three attempts, their last three attempts, can be considered the favourites. They haven't done anything to be proven they're the favourites. They haven't even been to a Champions League fight. Come on, guys, man. Why do we do this to ourselves? And now because of the English media bigging up Man City, you have Kylian Mbappe tweeting Farmers League with a clown face. We're the Farmers League, guys. It's us. It's us that need to take a hard look in the mirror and just paint a clown face. Paint a clown face over ourselves because... The English fans, the English press, we've always said that the French League and the German League are farmers leagues. I've personally never said it, so I don't really feel that shame. But those of you that said it, you need to hang your heads in shame. Because when you look at the facts, the facts are the Premier League, the Premier League is a farmers league. Let me take a quick break from ranting about Man City just to say that I've made a Discord server for Rose Ed. Those of you who have been back in this channel so far, I appreciate all the love so much. And feel free to jump into the Discord server. There's a bunch of us in there already just talking about football all day, every day. Don't care what team you support. Make sure you go to the comment section below and find the Discord link and join us. And we can just talk all things football. I'm in there and a bunch of other people that are supporting the channel are in there. So make sure you jump in on the Rose Ed Discord server. To be honest, I'm so glad Man United and Chelsea are back in the Champions League because you need some real English Champions League representation, you know? Like, Man United and Chelsea, they know how to win Champions Leagues. All right, they might not win it next season, but they have won Champions League. City have not won a Champions League ever. So I think it's time to bring back the real Champions League pedigree.
But let's talk about the game. There's so much to talk about. For one, I'm not going to let Edison go. No one's talked about the mistakes he made in the game. Sweeper, keep all of this stuff. Look, you're not Manuel Neuer, all right? Why was he so far? Why is he always coming out of his box? Like, I'm sure it looks wonderful when, you know, he wins the ball and he sends it back up the field. But, like, it's not every day come out of your box. Like, if you come out of your goal, you're going to let goals in at some point and they're going to cost you. And it cost you in the biggest game of your season, a game that you overlooked and thought, yeah, we're just going to get past them. So, yeah, let me come out of my box and, like, do the whole sweeper keeper vibe. You're not Manuel Neuer. Get back in your box. And you weren't able to get back in your box quick enough. Like, you were at fault for at least two out of the three goals. <laughs> then we move on to my guy, Raheem Sterling. Like, I love Raheem Sterling. Like, I think he's an amazing footballer. He's a role model for black kids everywhere. But that miss, man. He misses those kind of opportunities one too many times for my liking. And... On the big stage, in the biggest moment, he missed in front of an gaping, gaping open goal. There are no excuses. I can't, like, I actually love Raheem Sterling, like, but there's no there's no excuses for that. I'm sure you guys have seen the Yakubu video going around lately of one of the open goals he missed. It was that bad. <laughs> I think someone said he must be Yakubu's grandson or something because that miss was awful. You saw how everyone in the ground thought that was a certain goal heartbreak man and then you move on to the key moment i think the goal that some might say was offside but to be honest he didn't interfere with play he let the ball run through his legs because he knew it was offside and all the man city defenders stopped so actually i blame the man city defenders for not continuing their run and having to make edison come out of goal again and we know what happens when edison comes out of his goal you know what i'm saying and it's funny because you had Imeric laporte on twitter that same evening just kind of moaning a bit about what happened and saying it shouldn't you know it should have been given as a fa uh, as a free kick or whatever and then kevin de bruyne the captain that he is coming out in the interview afterwards saying same year same thing when it comes to man city sometimes you have to take ownership and responsibility and actually i didn't think kevin de bruyne would be the guy to do that so and the fact that he did to me just shows a level of leadership and just kind of shows that you know what if and and it just kind of tells me that he probably needs to move to a team where he's actually going to win Title, not only titles, league titles, but actually fight for a Champions League because City don't get anywhere close to a Champions League. They haven't ever got close to a Champions League. So, like, going back to all of this, Man City are the favourites. I still can't get my head around why that was ever a topic of conversation. But you know what? you got to give it to City because clearly they didn't want to get a spanking by Bayern Munich, which they would have got regardless. I don't care if they turned around and beat uh, Leon by eight goals to two. They would have got a spanking by Bayern Munich as well. Um, and I know Man City fans can turn around and say, oh, you know, you don't know what would have happened if you played Bayern. Like, we could have beaten them. Let's be real. Bayern are winning the Champions League. And if they don't, something mad has, like, another pandemic has to happen or something to, to, like, to make them not win the Champions League. They are certified winning the Champions League. Like, even before they went and slapped Barcelona the way they did, I thought Bayern Munich are the team to beat. And I don't think anyone is going to be able to do it. So I want to use this video as a humble message from myself to Man City fans. Just to say, you lot ain't it. You, you just ain't it. You've never been it. And when I say that, okay, I know you've won some Premier Leagues and, you know, you guys try and say Manchester's red. I'm not going to go into the whole um, United City debate. But when you look at Man City overall, you're just not it. You don't deserve to be called the favourites to win the Champions League. How was that ever a thing? What have you ever shown? What have you ever shown to prove to people that, oh yeah, you guys should be considered as the favourites? You've done nothing. You've never won a Champions League. And you, to me, you didn't even look good enough to win it. Bayern Munich were going to slap you up anyway. And actually, I'm kind of upset we don't get to see that Bayern City match. Like, City needed to be humbled. Bayern Munich would have absolutely destroyed you guys. And it goes to show because Leon basically destroyed... How do you let Leon go and score three goals against you guys? It's a madness. It's, it's a big L. But hey, what can I say? If you go head to head with UEFA, you're gonna lose, you know what I'm saying? You lot thought you were slick, doing your whole FFP stuff, getting away with it. Now look what's happened. It's a it's a big L. It's such a big L. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Can we just make a pact, right? That if Manchester City are one of the last English teams left in the Champions League, that we don't let them fly the flag for England because they are just not it. How can Man City be representing the Premier League and everyone is saying, oh yeah, the, the German League and the French League are Farmers League. Come on, guys. We're the Farmers League, all right? Man City cannot wave the flag for the Premier League. They've not done enough to wave the flag for the Premier League in Europe. They're not European pedigree. They're, they're PSG 2.0 and PSG aren't even a good blueprint for Man City to be. So why are we letting Man City 
why are we saying they are going to be the, the favourites when they get far into the Champions League? They are not it. Man United and Chelsea are coming back into the Champions League and I'm not saying they're going to get further than Man City. I don't think they are. But you know what? You've got two teams with real Champions League pedigree coming back in. And I'd rather put my money on those two teams because those two teams know what it means to win a Champions League. Oh, I feel good. I feel good.